Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Drunken Baked Beans. That's right, they say beer makes everything better, which might not be literally true, but it definitely makes a lot of things at a barbecue better, like that game of horseshoes or your friend's stories. And without a doubt, these baked beans, which is why I'm so excited to be sharing my version of Frijoles Barrachos which might just be my all-time favorite version of baked beans. So with that, let's go ahead and get started by dumping some brown sugar into a baking dish, followed by some apple cider vinegar, as well as some high-quality jarred red salsa, or of course, for extra credit, some homemade salsa. And then what we'll do at this point is take a spoon and give this a quick mix, just to sort of dissolve that brown sugar before we add the rest of the ingredients. And I didn't have time to mention this in the intro, but not only is this one of the best tasting baked bean recipes ever, it has to be one of the easiest, since we're basically just going to mix everything up and then bake it. But anyway, after giving that a quick mix, we will add three cans of drained but not rinsed pinto beans. Oh, you can drain them, but please don't rinse them. I do like a little bit of that bean juice attached. We will also be tossing in some diced onion, as well as some diced green pepper. And I'm using jalapeno, but of course use whatever you want. And then we will flavor and season this up with a little bit of Dijon mustard. And yes, yellow mustard would be fine. We will also do some freshly ground black pepper, some salt, of course, a good amount of smoked paprika, a nice big pinch of Mexican oregano, or just regular oregano. We will also toss in a little bit of garlic powder, followed by a little bit of cayenne. And then last but not least, the star of the show, some Mexican-style lager beer. And we'll want to pour in exactly one 12-ounce bottle. Actually, hold on a second. Make that one almost full 12-ounce bottle. And we will pour that in. And then we'll take our stirring spoon and give this a thorough mix until we are 100% positive. Everything's been thoroughly and completely combined. And while I mix this, let me tell you something very obvious. While I think this is close to a perfect recipe, if you want to tweak it to your taste, go ahead. Whether that's using a different kind of bean, or some different spices, or maybe using some hotter peppers, that of course will be up to you. I mean, you guys are after all the head honchos of how macho your frijoles barachos. So as always, feel free to play around. But this time, secretly, I hope you don't. Too much. And then once we have that all perfectly mixed, we will lay exactly three slices of bacon over the top. Since four is too many, and two is not enough. And of course, the bacon is optional. But as my southern friends would tell you, if it's not topped with bacon, it ain't baked beans. And that's it. Once these barracho beans have been baking, they are ready to transfer into the center of a 400-degree oven for about an hour and a half, or until those liquids have reduced and thickened. And it looks like this. Oh yeah, those are looking good. And like all pans of baked beans, these are going to thicken up as they cool. So it's okay if they're a touch saucy at this point, but we don't want them wet and soupy. So if yours seem too liquidy, just simply let them bake a little longer. And then while these cool down a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and garnish the top with some freshly snipped chives, which I had a lot of, so I need to use them on something. So I went ahead and garnished that up before I grabbed a spoon and went in for a taste. And that, my friends, is an incredibly flavorful, super savory, sweet and tangy, slightly spicy, Thoroughly amazing bite of beans. And these are still piping hot. And as I mentioned, these will thicken as they cool. So if they look like this when they first come out of the oven, they're going to be absolutely perfect at room temp, which is the most likely temperature you're going to be serving a pan of baked beans. Since we're generally going to set these out on the table next to the ribs and the barbecued chicken and the burgers and the hot dogs. And yes, those vegetable skewers, because you also invited you know who. But anyway, whether you're eating these piping hot or barely warm, or room temp, I think you'll agree this is one of the tastiest baked bean recipes ever, thanks in no small part to that beer we dumped in. Plus, since we only needed one beer for the recipe, that leaves five beers to enjoy while we eat these. So we got that going for us, which is nice. And while I could have enjoyed these right out of the dish, if possible, we're probably going to want to serve them with some kind of succulent meat, which for me here was some mojo pork, which if you haven't seen that recipe, check it out. It was so, so good. And not only did I enjoy it by itself, 
and with that beautiful moho pork, but I actually used the last of the leftovers in a pot of pasta vizool, which ended up being one of the best versions I've ever made. So just like beer, there are so many things these beans will make better, including, I hope, your next barbecue. But no matter how or when, these incredible tasting baked beans could not be easier to make, and I really do hope you give them a try soon. So please follow the links below for the ingredient amounts, a printable written recipe, and much more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.